Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. There are several common side effects that you may experience when taking Tisigna. One of those is low blood cell counts, especially low white blood cells. Your doctor will test you for your white blood cell counts with every lab test and will be able to identify if you're dealing with low counts. There are certain severe symptoms of low blood cell counts, including fever, chills, shortness of breath, and unexplained weaknesses. Please call your doctor immediately if you experience any of these symptoms. I was diagnosed with chronic myeloid leukemia, CML, in 2011. Before starting to Cigna, I was on hydroxyurea and allopurinol pills for about five days. This was to get my white blood cell counts closer to the normal range. I took my Tisigna pills every day for over eight years. Stephen also dealt with low white blood cell counts. This happened early on in my treatment. Um, along with the hydroxyurea, which pushed down the white blood count, the Tisigna can also lower white blood cell counts. So in the first few weeks when I had hydroxyurea and then the Tisigna, my white blood count did drop a little bit. It got to about two. The normal range is four to 11, and mine got to about two, and they came very close to actually withholding the drug for a little bit, but didn't have to. And after about the second week on the drug, it started to go back up again, and then I never had an issue since. Steven's currently in treatment-free remission, so yay. He stopped taking to Cigna in 2019. We all need teammates to support us in living a healthy lifestyle. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to join Team Heal. We're Amy and Steven from the Heal Every Day Together channel. Thank you for joining us today. Together, Together we heal. heal.